Hello and welcome to the C4 Show, China's funniest comedy news show. Today I'm joined by a very special guest. It's a very popular dining editor right here in Beijing, Will Phillips. Will, hello. Hi, Steve. How are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. Now you're a dining editor, right? Yep, that's right. Who do you write for? Uh, actually, you've probably already heard of them. It's the magazine. That's Beijing. That, that's that's be- Is that the same one as the other week? Are they pay- are they paying us money? They they're not. What the? F- 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 thanks, thanks for coming on the show. We'll re- really appreciate it. Let's. Go to the first story. Right, first story this week, Will. What's it about? Well, it's not so much a news story, but more of a hot topic, I suppose. Hot topic. Yep. Yeah, um, it's a story that's been circulating of newsreaders fluffing their lines live on air. Should we take a look? Hot. <laughs> So do you ever mess up your lines, Stu? Me? No, I never mess up my lines. I'm a professional. Right. I suppose it's kind of what you're saying before we started filming. I mean, the show is kind of rubbish, and um, you know what you're saying is complete crap, and I mean, it's kind of hard to mess up your lines when you're talking bollocks, isn't it? But Plus, I, I mean, no one's really watching the show, so I never said that to you. Oh, it must have been one of your cameramen I was talking to. Camera? Was it you? Was it you? Tell me which one later. Anyway, I made a video myself for Chinese newsreaders so they could study from me, so that they can then never mess up. Let's check it out. Oh, hello, it's me. I'm back again. Aren't you happy? You know, I've been hearing a lot about newsreaders getting their lines wrong. Today is National Workers' Day. Happy Workers' Day. Happy Workers' Day. So this afternoon, I'll be talking to a young man. A young man who wants to kill a woman who wants to kill a man. You are the leader. How terrible, 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 how unprofessional. They should take some lessons from me and try to be more English. 我们节目怪，bollocks，看样子你们都认出来了，我，fucking that. That's that was the editor's fault. But when I'm outside, it's the same. I never mess up. Jiangjiajie National Forest Park, the uh, Skywalk at Jiangjiajie National Forest Park, Gold Wink, Gold Wink, <laughs> Gold Wink. Ah. All right, maybe 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 a few times, but I'm a very calming influence, and no one ever makes me look stupid. I will never laugh at someone off camera if they get their positioning wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Go, go. Show me. Huh? <laughs> and no one ever steals my focus. They're not going to learn much from that, are they? Why? Why? What, what do you mean? Well, I mean, it was pretty sloppy. It was full of errors. I mean, it's quite unprofessional. I mean, it's a pretty low standard of journalism, Stu. And? I suppose yeah, it's perfect for them, isn't it? Yep. Next story, please. This next story is made just for you, Will. What's it about? Well, this one's all about food, Stu. So there's an app you can download which finds a chef in your local area. And they come over to your house and cook a meal for you. I know all about this. It costs about a hundred kwai. They cook about six dishes for you plus a soup, but you have to buy the ingredients yourself. Do you know why I know all about this? No, I don't know. Go on. Because I'm thinking of becoming one of these chefs available on the app. But you can't cook. Well, that's not true. <laughs> all right, you can cook, but your food tastes like. Well, that's better. You got to choose your words right, man, because this is a serious show. Okay, if you want to come back in the future, got to get this right. Okay. All right. Anyway, I can cook. I can cook so well. I was invited onto a TV show to cook for them. Do you want to see? Yeah, let's take a look.
fish and chips. Yeah. Not very original, is it? Um, what was the final result? Oh, that doesn't matter. You don't need to know about that. All you need to know is that everyone in life is a winner. You were Team Shui Dui, right? Yeah, we were, but you don't need to know the result. Well, I, think, we, I think we want to see. No, 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 we don't uh, need... No, let's see, let's come on, let's, let's, let's have a look. Let's take a look. So you lost. We came fourth. Out of how many teams? Four. Well, you're still a winner to me, mate. Really? Nah, not really. Next story, please. I love this next story, Will. What's it about? Yeah, I'm a pretty big fan of this story too. So construction will begin this year in East Beijing for China's very own Universal Studios Park. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! It's going to cover over 2 million square metres of floor space. It's going to have lots and lots and lots of amazing rides. Oh, bloody hell, I'm getting so excited. Well, hold on, because the best part is that, according to Global Times, there'll be a dedicated area for Back to the Future and Jurassic Park. Back to the Future and Jurassic Park? Back to the Future? I'm pretty sure Chinese people haven't even seen that movie, but oh, Back to the Future! Well, hold on, because there's even better news. What is it? This. Municipal authorities are also planning to build a monorail, 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 monorail. Ing, brilliant, a monorail. The hallmark of every developed city. You know it. When's this going to open? Scheduled to open 2019. Ah, that's way too long. I, I, I can't wait. That. Oh, oh, I can go to the Chinese alternative. That's being built in Shanghai too. What's it called? China Movie World. Oh, what a name. Succinct. Yeah. But that's not due to be open until 2020. Oh, that's way too long. Oh, so it's all right. I can go to uh, Disneyland Shanghai. That's going to open this year. Uh, yeah, but... That's been delayed until next year. No! 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 Don't, don't, me, don't worry. No. It's okay. I'll, I'll take you to Happy Valley. No! No! Next no. story, please. <laughs> feeling okay now, Stu? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay now. At, at the very least, I'm feeling better than the girl in this video. What was uh, she so upset about, Will? Well, she was upset because her boyfriend, who showed up for a date wearing a suit and holding roses, was annoyed because she turned up for a date wearing her normal clothes and no makeup. Oh, terrible. Actually, this led to a lot of online discussion and debate. Uh, can you guess how that debate went? Because it was 50-50, split down the middle, obviously, two sides. Can you guess how it went? Um, well, I guess 50%, all of whom were women, women. Um, thought that you know, true love is blind and appearances don't matter. Yes, that's correct. And the other 50%? Mm, well, the other 50% who were men, men. Um, they thought that the previous 50% were wrong. And they were correct. And you were correct. Yes, you, you haven't been such a bad guest after all, Will. Thanks. But, you know, I've got some advice for you, Stu. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, maybe you could do with a bit of foundation, a bit of blusher. I mean, under these bright lights, not, not looking so good right now. Joking. You come on my show, come on my show, and you wearing these glasses and this, just, and this just, shirt. Just, just saying, you know. You, you twat, you... You've even got your own close-up. Yeah, I... Take this close-up. Will, I'm, uh, I'm sorry about that. I get a little bit sensitive. Yeah, it's okay, mate. I understand. Cool. Yeah, just a little bit sensitive, that's all. What, about your weight? About my weight? No, not about my weight. No, no, okay, fine. Okay, forgive you. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, anyway, it's, it's time for the end of the show. Will, can you introduce our Weibo on our Twitter? And do you want to do a and join us next week for more of the C4 show. See you later. Bye bye. And we don't have to beat. So we don't. We don't have to bleep rubbish, bollocks, or crap. No. What the bleeps on? Anything above that. Yeah. <laughs> A prick's okay. okay. Dick's okay. Okay. Cock, just on the line. On the line, yeah. No. no definitely not. I, mean, I, don't, I probably wouldn't even say that. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Even, no, neither would I. Wank, probably out. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, in America, that's true. They, they say it on The Simpsons. Yes. Yeah. Surely you can say it on the CRI. Okay. I'd imagine that's the kind of. Wait, wait, the rule. wait, wait. Maybe. <laughs> uh, standards are a little bit higher than The Simpsons, Will. <laughs> it costs about 100 quai. It'll cook you about six dishes and a soup. And. Uh, I've forgotten my line. Let's go again. Do, do you know why I know all about this? No, why? I've go forgotten on. a line, that's why. I'll get it right this time. They cook about six dishes for you in a soup, but you have to pay...
I won't get it right this time. <laughs> Sorry. I thought you were professional. Um, Just after that last, the last skit we did so well. It was a joke. It was a joke, yeah. Was a joke, yeah. <laughs> so you made fish and chips? Yeah. Forgotten already. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm starting right now. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, okay, you must okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So you made fish and chips? Yeah. Not very original, is it? What was um, the final result? <laughs> <laughs> it's got a noun hill. Due to open 2019. Ah, oh, that's way too long. I can't wait for that. Oh, hold on. That was really fake. Let's do that again. <laughs> Super fake. <laughs> Jesus. Say bye. Bye bye. And then we'll just fake talk to each other or just yeah. chat to each other. Oh, I've always wanted to do that, you know. Like the match of the day star, you know, when yeah. you come in and they just, I don't know what the fuck it's, they're saying. It's, it's not like... as exciting as it, <laughs> as it looks, Will.